What's up YouTube? It's The Real Code Burnout. Thanks for joining me on my channel. And uh, I got tagged by Jay over at Reality Talk Reviews. Cool channel, go check it out. Uh, <laughs> this dude's funny. Anyway, it's called uh, Fun 5 for 5. So I gotta answer these five questions. This is him answering his questions on his vid. Alright, so uh, first question and then I'll have to tag some other people at the end. So first question, what was my favorite childhood toy? You know, that, that's a hard one. Uh, you know, my initial thought is, you know, the classic Hot Wheels, because, you know, I love getting those Hot Wheels. But uh, I'll probably actually say, man, I, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty old. So we had a lot of good stuff when I was growing up. And, you know, the original Transformers, G.I. Joe, Robotech, a lot of cool stuff coming on TV, cartoon-wise. I'm going to say the original G.I. Joe action figures not the original ones the ones from the 80s they're like this big okay because the original ones were like dolls or whatever but the ones from the mid 80s or 80s they're about that big those G.I. Joes love those things you know I, I had like a handful of them or whatever but uh, you know when I was younger I'd <laughs> shove them in the pocket if you know if we're going out out to eat or what wherever we're going I had some Joes along some some Cobra forces to fight so that was pretty cool so I'll, I'll say those are those G.I. Joe's from the from the 80's and what's my favorite second question what's my favorite toy adult toy <laughs> it's gonna be my Mustang alright there it is you know I've got other toys toy toys but uh, yeah I'll say my Mustang that's an adult toy right you know a car <laughs> That's what it's all about, right? Anyway, I still do buy Hot Wheels. Uh, third question is, do you unbox your toys? So on occasion, I'll grab Hot Wheels. Now I get the excuse of, you know, my boy. <laughs> Gotta get some Hot Wheels for my boy. I always snag some for myself. And that's why I, that's why I originally said Hot Wheels, possibly, on uh, my favorite toy from my youth. But just because I still have them. All right, I actually still have most of my Hot Wheels from my youth. You know, I'll roll in little, little pictures of it right here. Oh, excellent. Thank you, air conditioner, for turning on. So, do I unbox? Sometimes, most time. Uh, there's a few things that I might get that I keep in the box. Uh, I've been getting those. Every once in a while, I'll get those big Transformers. Maybe I'll roll in a picture if I can find it. Those Masterpiece Transformers, because they look like the original ones from the 80s. And uh, or the ones I grew up with, you know, I like that style of transformer where the robot looks like a friggin' robot. You can tell it was a car or a jet at one time. So, and the, the ebb and flow of my financial situation has caused me to sell off. You know, I I start buying those transform masterpieces, sticking them back. You know, just kind of have them on display in the box, man. Boom, money crisis or whatever. You know, need to get some money. Why I'm selling those, and usually you at least get your money back on those, or you might, you know, make a few bucks because you know they'll make them and and they move on. So it's just kind of limited runs on those masterpiece. I ramble on. What was the fourth question? Hell, I don't remember. New look. Oh, what uh, what superhero would you be and why? Man, that's a tough one because uh, so many superheroes are. They start out their journey with some type of tragedy. You know, I don't need no tragedy in my life. You know, like I got a Punisher poster over there. You know, I used to have those Punisher comic books, still have some of them. Uh, Batman, I always was into Batman. Um, but, man, those, those dudes have some tragic origin stories. Tragic. Hell, I, most superheroes do. You know, I don't know. Uh, let me try something different. It probably changed from day to day, but I'll say right now, how about uh, Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, his origin story is a little tragic. You know, his mom died of cancer, so I can relate uh, to that situation. But uh, that movie was cool. I didn't know nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy until that movie came out. You know, and Star Lord, <laughs> that's one funny character right there. So I guess he'd be a superhero, um, be able to hold that Infinity Gem or Infinity Stone for X amount of time so 
there you go. And what was the final question? Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo? Of course, they didn't have Atari in there. I grew up with Atari. Uh, then we were lucky enough, my older brother got the original NES. I probably played the original NES, the Nintendo, more than any other system. And I've got, uh, sitting over there, I've got a, you know, Xbox 360. I got a PlayStation upstairs, but uh, original NES, I played the hell out of that. Loved it. That was just the right time in my life for that. So there you go. All right, so now I need to tag some people. <laughs> Hopefully some people will do this. All right, uh, first person, Ed USAF. <laughs> You've been tagged. Uh, Mr. Holster. Well, I'm curious to see what his answers are. Um, Joey Cuz. I know that man plays with toys. He should be able to do this. Mm, who else? So that's three. Uh, let me tag Ebomi. He probably won't do this because he didn't watch my vids, so whatever. And I got a fifth one. Who should I tag? Number five. Number five. I could tag my brother, but I already know his answers. He probably wouldn't do it anyway. Uh, shoot. How about mm, Batjack JW? There you go. That's who I tagged. And I'll put all this information down below. There you go. Go check out uh, Reality Talk Reviews. Tell them the real Cobra Burnout sent you. Boom. Alright, also, hashtag Justin's Final Mission. I'm going to put the information for that charity down below or that fundraiser. It's a charity for uh, to help prevent veteran suicides, which are at 22 a day right now, you know, due to PTSD and things like that so Justin's final mission check out the links down below on that uh, if you would like to donate to his cause he passed away of cancer but his final mission before he passed was to try to raise some money for activeheroes.org and that organization helped him get through a suicide moment you know that situation in his life and they're continuing he wanted to you know help them with funding and uh, they continue to help veterans so please check that out